Denmark has a long track record of being a pioneer in renewable energy. In the case of biochar, the Danes lost out to the Amazon Indians by about 3,000 years. But instead of throwing in the towel, the Danes decided to enter the fray by combining biochar production with the classical Danish success story, small-scale cogeneration of heat and electricity. The Black Carbon Project chose to combine forces with Sterling Denmark, developer of a groundbreaking 35-kilowatt Sterling engine. The BC300 unit has been developed in close collaboration with Sterling Denmark's R&D team. Biochar is carbonized plant material made through thermal treatment in an absence of oxygen. The volatile gases are captured and combusted to fuel the pyrolysis, generate power and heat, while the recalcitrant and carbon-rich biochar remains. The chemical structure ensures that biochar is both biologically and chemically very stable. The black carbon unit is a pyrolysis-based CHP unit with a Stirling engine. It converts fuel equivalent to 300 kilowatts per hour. Of this, 35 kilowatts is electricity, 110 kilowatts district heated water, and 110 kilowatts biochar. The wood chips are made from old pallets and wooden boxes that are chipped and fed into the unit and heated by pyrolysis. The gases produced from the pyrolysis process are combusted separately to create heat and electricity. The carbon-rich biochar residue is then extracted from the unit. CHP stands for Combined Heat and Power and is also known as cogeneration. It is a term used to describe the simultaneous production of heat and electricity by one source. Pyrolysis is the controlled heating for decomposition of organic substances with little or no oxygen, which allows for the capture of syngases for electricity and heat, and the creation of biochar as a byproduct. A Stirling engine is a closed cycle external combustion engine that needs little maintenance and is noted for the ease with which it can utilize almost any heat source. The fluctuating temperature causes the pistons to move up as the hot helium gas expands. Then the pistons move back down again as the cooled down gas contracts allowing the pistons to run an external electric generator, which produces electricity. The Black Carbon Project has received funding from the Ministry of Food, Agriculture, and Fisheries under the EU Rural Development Policy and the Ministry of Energy, EUDP program.